What is going on everybody? Do you wanna know how I travel for free? Or do you wanna know how to leverage credit cards to get more cash back rewards and all this good stuff? In today's video, I wanna show you exactly how to do it right here on the computer and exactly what I do to maximize rewards. Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Patrick Kenny. If you're new around here, what we do is we talk about how to make money, specifically from the internet. And on today's video, we're gonna talk about credit card points and rewards and what I do to make more money, okay? So first things first, I'm gonna write down a few points on the board that I need to give you guys for context, okay? Number one, search first. You'll know what this means in a minute. And number two, have money ready. And then number three, travel or points. Okay, now this is in no specific order, but these are the first things that we must first know before we actually get to the computer. So first things first, we need to search first, which is what we're gonna spend today's video doing. I have the computer in front of me. I don't know if you guys can see that. We're going to, Search first to try to find the best credit cards, the best bang for our buck. Then we need to have money ready. I'll explain that in a minute. And the, the biggest part is you need to, right now, you need to decide, am I going to use my credit card for travel or am I going to use my credit card for cash back and points? If you're a traveler, you know the answer. If you don't travel a lot, then you're going to do points. So you have to decide that first. With that said, I'm going to go over to the computer now, and this is now to search first. So first things first, what I always do is I open this up as a private, I always go file, new private window. So this is a private window. I always go into this via a private window. The reason I do that is so the cookies don't show in the back so that I get the best potential deals. Now, first things first, I'm just gonna search credit cards 2019, something like that. I, I put 2109, let's see, 2019, credit cards 2019. The first thing I do is I get on and I like to just start to search. And I use, typically I use NerdWallet or these websites just to get an idea, okay, of where the offers sit. And what it'll allow you to do up here is figure out, first of all, what you are. So are you travel or are you low interest or are you balance transfer cashback? For a lot of us, we're gonna be travel or rewards. So if I go into travel, it says Capital One, I wish I had my wallet on me and I could show you guys, I, I actually already have this card. Amazing card right here, the Capital One Venture, it's metal too, so that's great. You do have to have a good to excellent credit score, just so you know. Um, but what I first do is I start to look down and I'm looking at these intro offers. I'm looking at the intro offers. 60,000 points, 50,000 points, uh, 25,000 points, okay, 50,000 points, those sort of things. Okay, your goal is to find you know, the highest, obviously. So you're obviously trying to find the highest. And first things first, just so you know, annual fees are not a bad thing. Typically the ones with annual fees are the only ones that are worth even applying for anyway. And you can typically call them up and bicker about it and get those, get those turned off. So you can read pros and cons, high rewards weight, uh, flexible reward redemption, sign up bonus, all that sort of stuff. Um, in fact, I'll pull up my phone real quick and I'll show you my Capital One account. So you can see right here on my phone, I have 229,860 points. And the cool thing about it is you, you basically reimburse yourself. So I always go cover your purchase. This is how I always do it. And so like I can scroll down, it allow you to cover Uber, but say right here, I was in a, a hotel recently on October 28th that cost uh, this one was 646. It was half the purchase, so it was, it was a total of uh, like 1,200 bucks or whatever for the hotel. But I could click that, and I could click slide to redeem, and it'll it'll show me what I have available. And the reason this is cool is that I can then redeem purchases that are coming in and out. And this is again the Capital One Re Rewards card. So I utilize that for hotels typically, and again that this rewards rate tells me that I get two bucks or I'm sorry, two points for every dollar I spend. So when you spend $1,000, you're getting 
into having thousands of points start to rack up with that. Um, and I'll show you specifically here in a minute on Delta for a better example of that. Um, but when, at, at any rate, when we talk about it, it is important to understand how these all work. So you first start searching. Now, if you're on the travel side, the first thing you have to do is marry an airline. I always say marry an airline and I've made a travel video for free uh, or traveling for free video. It's on my channel. I'll have it pop up right now. And when we talk about traveling for free, the first thing you have to do is marry your airline. What I mean by that is you have to decide what airline do I travel with most. So if you're United, you type in United Airlines credit cards. Okay, and then you, you first and foremost, typically I just go right to their website, see what kind of deals they have. Okay, so they've got 65,000 bonus miles, a limited time offer, um, and that's their Explorer card. So I'll hit learn more. And when I hit learn more, and I go in, in, in to apply now, it will say right here, basically if you spend $10,000 in total purchases in the first six months, you're gonna get those 65,000 points. So that leads me to this point, have money. So in this case, that would be $10,000 ready. You have to have money ready. The reason being is you need to hit these purchase bonuses if, to make these things work. And especially when you sign up, you're gonna have these huge sign-on bonuses. That's how they get your business. And so you wanna figure out what's best for you, what airline's best, all that sort of stuff. And so if you're not planning on making a big purchase in the future right now, I wouldn't recommend doing it. But let's say you have a remodel coming up for your house and you plan on putting fifteen, twenty thousand dollars worth of stuff on new new countertops and 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 all this sort of stuff. Throw it on the credit card. That is what I would recommend doing. So say go over to Delta now. If if you were to search Delta credit cards, I'll search it real quick. Okay, and we go to SkyMile credit cards for Delta. I actually have two of them. I've got the platinum and I've got the gold. Okay, so you can see this is the platinum or this is the platinum, this is the gold. The gold is earned 30,000 bonus miles uh, if you spend a thousand bucks in the first three months. The platinum is 35,000 if you spend a thousand. Okay, so platinum all the way for me personally. Um, platinum or reserve, no doubt about it. And the reserve will do 40,000 if you spend 3,000. The reserve does cost a few hundred bucks a year. The platinum costs like a hundred bucks a year or 200 bucks a year, I should say. And the gold costs like a hundred bucks a year. But keep in mind that the platinum and the Delta have companions so that every anniversary you get a buy one, get one free domestic flight. That's a massive bonus right off the bat. Free bags, all that sort of stuff. So let's go into my Delta dashboard now. I just wanna show you guys the power of this. So this is my dashboard here. I'm going to load up my trips. Okay. Uh, I, I go back home. Uh, I live in Montana or I lived in Montana. I should say I live in Arizona right now. I go back home in uh, a few days here as I'm shooting this video. You guys probably seeing it after the fact, but as I'm shooting this video, I'm going home in a few days and you can see right here, seat 1A. 1A. If anybody knows traveling, you know 1A, this is first class. Okay. This is Delta Comfort. This is the main cabin. So I am traveling first class for free. Okay, I used my miles to do that. I used my miles to do that. And so when we're talking about it, you're first class, you're flying for free. I'm using my miles so that I'm getting, I'm getting sky priority. And this is all through those bonus miles. Let me, let me click back here. You can see right now I've got 148,435 uh, bonus miles sitting. I've got one credit, which is that buy one, get one companion. I'll show you guys that really quick so you can get an idea of all of this. Okay, this is the companion, right? Notice the companion here. This is a, basically a buy one, get one free. So lots of great stuff happening uh, with this. And I wanna show you one last thing. I can go to Delta. We talk about how to find stuff, Delta Sky Miles Calendar. And when I search that, and I book it on Delta with their flexible calendar view, I could say Phoenix to JFK, New York, across the country. Let's do miles and let's, uh, let's say we're gonna stay for three days and, and it doesn't matter, we'll say next year, we'll go 14th to the 17th, something like that. 
Then all we do is we hit find flights and it will automatically find us the best deals for miles. So as I open this up, I want you to notice something. I can leave Monday and come back Saturday, okay? I can leave Sunday, I can leave Wednesday, let's say a trip, Wednesday to Saturday. 12,000 miles round trip, guys. 12,000 miles round trip. If you guys remembered back to this offer, if you spend $1,000, $1,000 in the first three months, you get 35,000 bonus miles. Are you picking up on what I'm putting down real quick? It's gonna cost me 12,000 to fly. This is basic economy, but who cares? 12,000 round trip, okay? And so all I'm doing is I'm switching it up so that instead of having to use dollars, which this flight in dollars, by the way, I'll switch it to dollars. This flight in dollars costs 200 bucks. All I'm doing is saying, I'm already gonna spend a thousand bucks. I'll put it towards this credit card point. I get the points, I'll use the miles to travel and I just effectively save myself $200 in this case or more if I wanted to fly, say Comfort or whatever. So all of this stuff is important. You just have to go onto these websites. You need to start you know, taking a good look, deciding what am I gonna do? Am I gonna travel? Am I gonna do points? I have to have the money ready. I need to search, I need to get the searching done and there's no pro way to do this. You just have to scour the webs, you have to search the, search the websites, figure out what are the best pros, what are the best cons, and at the end of the day, you're going to be able to find the best deals. So with that said, I hope this helped you. If this did, just leave a like if this helped you. I'm, I'm trying to put it all out there for you and what I do. Uh, also, click that subscribe button, it means a ton to me. And if you have any questions, as always, just leave it in the comments section. So with that said, I'll see you guys in the next video. See you later.